Hey guys, my name is Amri Han and I'm here with Kim Kyusang and today we're going to do a breakdown of Usman's KO against Burns. Alright, so today I'm, I'm going to be Usman and he's going to be Burns. So let's talk about the stance first. So Gilbert Burns' stance was, he was really heavy on his front foot. So he was really having a really aggressive stance. We knew he wanted to dictate the pace. He wanted to take the center of the cage right away. And uh, Kamara Usman was more of like a neutral stance. His gut was really high. He, his weight was slightly off center towards the back. So you can see he was more defense. He was more in a defensive stance coming to this fight. Burn was trying to pressure early on. He, his weight on his front foot and his head was like is slightly exposed because of this. So coming into the fight. Burns coming aggressive. Usman was finding his rhythm. He was moving in and out. He was still in a filling out process. And Burns threw an overhand, caught Usman by the chin, and Usman fall. And Burns coming aggressive. Usman grab a leg and go to the body lock and he tried to recover. But right now Burns putting on the pressure as he sensed Usman was slightly hurt. But Usman being a champion, he recovered well. He stayed uh, disciplined in his defense. He using his jab keep burns away using his jab came burns away burns was still heavy on the attacks and threw a hard right kick but usman catch it and he pressure forward and burns fall down and once he fall down but you can see burns is really comfortable over here he's kind of inviting usman in but usman he's he's predominantly a wrestler but he doesn't want to get into the expertise of burns because he's really highly skilled bjj practitioner so right now, Burns was trying to invite him. He was kicking Usman's leg now and then, but Usman was controlling his feet really well and landing heavy strikes to the chest. He was playing with his feet. Once he find he got some kind of control, he throw a heavy strike to the chest or the midsection. So eventually, Burns got up. He felt a bit uncomfortable. He got up, up to the fence, and Usman right away pressuring with a stiff jab and overhand. And he's now Usman is dictating the pace. Towards the end of the first round, Usman was still maintaining good pressure with his jab and trying to push off Burns to the back of the cage. So he ends the round with this. So he ends the round with good pressure and putting Burns back on the cage. At the start of round two, Burns was coming heavy again. He was putting the pressure, uh, putting the pressure, trying to dictate the pace, take the center of the cage, but. Usman hit him with a stiff jab and he's keeping him keeping Burns away, keeping the pressure away with the stiff jab. And Usman, what he used really well in this fight, he used his lateral movement. He always moved left, right, backwards. He never stays still, he never stays center in the line of fire. Because especially when you're fighting someone who pressures really well, you need to be have you need to be constantly moving because you don't want to be a fixed target. If you're fixed, it's easier to hit. If you're constantly moving, the opponent has to readjust constantly. That's what Usman did. That's why Burns couldn't really find his rhythm. And every time Burns throw a kind of right looping punch, he will always get countered with a jab. Usman fake, he kind of fend the jab and Burns react to it and he throw the jab and Usman pull and throw the cross and he catch Burns right on the chin. And right now, Burns got up right away, he recovered really quick. But Usman pressure, he put Burns on the back of the fence and throw a jab overhand and jab overhand. He was looking for the finish shot, but you can tell he was being really patient. He wasn't being overly aggressive as he, he knew Burns still had that right hand, he could counter anytime. So Usman was not being recklessly, he was being really patient with his shots. And so as you can tell, you can see Burn is still badly hurt from that previous shot. So right now, Usman is pressuring hard with stiff jab. Burn throw a low kick, throw a low kick and Usman counter with a stiff jab. Burn fall to the ground and Usman didn't want to engage closely and the referee stands, Burns right back up immediately. And right now, Usman still being disciplined, pressuring hard with a stiff jab. Stiff jab, he moved around, he was not trying to rush for the finish as the round ends. Alright, so at the beginning of round 3, Burns and Usman, they were fighting for the pressure. Usman was doing, doing really well, establishing his jab. 
Burns through an outside leg kick. After the first leg kick, Usman switched to a southpaw stance. Again, Burns tried to throw another leg kick. Usman catch him with a stiff jab and he goes in for the kill. He throw precise ground and pound until the referee comes into, into weight. And that's a TKO win for Usman.